Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we have a great topic for you, which is how can we do a myomectomy without surgery? Sounds like magic, but just stick around and uh, till the end and you'll see how we can do it. Uh, before we start, do me a favor, hit that like button just below and subscribe to the channel. This will help this video get noticed by YouTube and by patients who are looking for solution. So uh, the topic of today, we're gonna be discussing the case of a young woman with a uh, nasty fibroid that is causing her terrible problems, uh, heavy bleeding, um, menses that were very, very heavy and hemorrhagic, causing her to lose a lot of blood to the point where it became life-threatening, uh, needing uh, multiple trips to the emergency where she got transfusion. Because of her comorbidities, because of the problem that she has, she was not a candidate to classical surgery, whether surgical myomectomy or surgical total hysterectomy. It's simply uh, these procedures were deemed too invasive and hence too dangerous for her because of uh, her health condition. And for that reason, our colleague gynecologist referred it to our us interventional radiology so what's interventional radiology interventional radiology is the new procedure the based on technology high-tech imaging and basically it's not invasive everything is done using the computer and using images and we can do a highly complex procedure like the one that I'm going to present you today which is removal of a fibroid without any incision without any scar and their local anesthesia from a pinhole in the wrist. It sounds like science fiction, but it's reality. And this allowed to help this patient get out of this life-threatening and dangerous situation without any problem. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna discuss with you the case of a uh, woman who suffered from a dominant fibroid. And we're gonna try to answer the question can uh, UFE uh, perform the equivalent of a surgical myomectomy? So um, if you're not familiar with the concept of embolization, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and then look at the old videos that I posted about the subject. So let's uh, dive into our case today. This is a case of a very nice uh, young woman, 39 years old, um, who we were taking care of her because of multiple issues. Uh, briefly, she had uh, what we call comorbidities, meaning that she had other diseases that did not make her a surgical candidate. The surgeon, basically, the gynecologist refused to operate on her because of her other diseases that made her uh, a high-risk candidate to, to surgery. So. The problem she had this uh, fibroid so we are looking at uh, a an MRI of this patient and the image that I'm showing you here is the uterus within the uterus you see a a fibroids a dominant fibroid she had other fibroids also this fibroid is pushing down on the bladder that we see in white because it's full of urine and I'm gonna show you an image on the side so from the side, you can see that the uterus is here. Uh, this is the dominant fibroid they were interested in, and she had other small fibroids. This is the back of the patient. This is the front. This is her bladder. The uterus is pushing a little bit on her bladder. So uh, question today, can what can help these patients who have problems caused by fibroid that are so severe that they have to come to emergency because they lose so much blood uh, they have um, very abundant menstruation with hemorrhage leading to decrease of hemoglobin and the need of blood transfusion in emergency uh, how, how can this patient be helped when the surgeon says no you cannot help you cannot do hysterectomy you cannot do myomectomy the risk of surgery are too high for you so uh, we're gonna see today uh, the technique of uh, uterine fibroid embolization how in this case we will perform an equivalent of a surgical myomectomy by removing only the uh, fibroids without touching the uterus in a patient who is deemed non-surgical candidate, with patient who is so um, have comorbidities, have high risk that the surgeon basically did not want to touch her, and um, 
she was bleeding she was in a situation where her life was threatened okay so uh, let me uh, take you through the procedure they were looking live at the x-ray of the patient as we are doing the procedure uh, the uh, the embolization was done through the left wrist of the patient what you see here is the shoulder of the patient as we advance in the tiny little catheter and then we're gonna go uh, quickly uh, towards the uh, pelvic vasculature um, this is my catheter here and we can introduce it into the blood vessel that leads to the fibroid the fibroid is, is seen here uh, it has some calcification so that's why we are able to see it on the x-ray uh, and then we do a what we call a selective angiography or basically an image of the vessel of the woman and from here we can see we were able to identify a big tortuous uterine artery that uh, is feeding the fibroid. So uh, using our catheter technique or micro catheterization, we introduce like a tiny uh, hair-like type of micro catheter that is so tiny that they can get it to the blood vessel without any difficulties. Uh, we use imaging guidance. We don't use any uh, surgery. We don't open the belly. Uh, there's no risk of scar. There's no opening of the uterus. So that's the advantage of these procedures. Uh, again, these procedures are done under moderate conscious sedation and the patient is wide, is awake and we can talk to her and here we are super selective we see here we we were able to see uh, and to locate a, a big artery that goes to the fibroid uh, whereas uh, we could see a few branches here that are going to the normal uterus so my goal was to uh, spare the normal uterus and go just treat the fibroid because you know there's really no need to uh, embolize and treat the whole uh, the whole uterus so that's what we did we were able to advance in a very very selective fashion our micro catheter deep inside the vascularity of the uterus and uh, we from there we did the embolization so basically we we're so close that uh, coming from the wrist uh, we could not advance anymore and uh, this led to a uh, an embolization with the beads so this is a this, the beads are traveling towards the uh, the uh, fibroid and uh, at the end of the procedure you see that there's not much vascularity going to the fibroid um, what we see here is uh, what we call the ovarian artery uh, of course we don't want to over inject this is how uh, we want to prevent any backflow of particles into the ovarian artery we just want the uh, those beads to stay uh, again here this is not an issue this woman was not interested in uh, fertility or pregnancies uh, basically this woman was fighting for her life uh, and this embolization was done to save her life because her hemoglobin was uh, going very very low in a dangerous manner needing multiple emergent transfusions so at the end of the procedure this patient had of course stopped bleeding uh, we went to check the other side uh, just to make sure that we didn't miss anything and there was no need to do any embolization from the other side. Uh, the procedure was successful and the patient was discharged uh, and eventually uh, to her home. And this is the uh, images of the fibroids that we see uh, that was embolized uh, successfully and uh, this is what we call cone beam CT reconstructions uh, that we do during the procedure that allow us to see where those particles will go and you can see these are the particles going uh, in a very selective fashion to the fibroid while the, the rest of the uterus looks normal and uh, this uh, this is uh, to show that with the modern technique uh, interventional radiology can basically navigate very very closely to to the fibroid and basically isolate it and kill it without with while sparing the normal uterus uh, this is the equivalent of what we call a, um, a myomectomy but without surgery it's a myomectomy done without opening the uterus uh, it allowed us to kill the, that fibroid and to stop immediately the bleeding even in a patient who was considered not surgical candidate. So uh, what we are looking at here are advanced imaging modalities that we conduct during the uterine fibroid embolization, uh, showing us uh, the great, great precision, the fibroids, 
this is the uterine artery that leads to the fibroid this is the the bladder of the patient and we are able now to perform a what we call the equivalent of myomectomy but without any surgery this patient was awake throughout the procedure we just did like a small pinhole in the wrist we were able to introduce the catheter in 40 minutes we we were done we were uh, got rid of that fibroid that life-threatening fibroid that was causing such uh, acute hemorrhage and blood loss to this patient that her hemoglobin dropped to a dangerous levels and she was not a surgical candidate uh, surgery did not and was not able to help this patient that was fighting for her life so radiology interventional radiology uh, intervened jumped into action and not only that but we did it in a very elegant manner we, we uh, got into this fibroid so the fibroid appears here white because it not only has uh, some calcification but also is white because it's saturated with particles we filled it with th those beads that's gonna kill him the patient had great outcome stopped bleeding immediately and was able to regain her home, her autonomy, her function, and uh, most importantly, her life back, thanks to interventional techniques that are able to do uh, now the equivalent of surgical myomectomy. Thank you. Thank you for watching till the end how uh, interventional radiology can remove fibroids and uh, perform a, the equivalent of a myomectomy without surgery. If you have any question or comments, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. Check out the links on the description and uh, join our Facebook community. So I'm going to leave you some links below. Thank you for your attention.